السلام علیکم فرینڈس ہاؤ آر یو ہوپ فلی یو ول بی فائن ویلکم ٹو مائی چینل اے ٹیکنیکل سو فرینڈس ان دا پریویس لیکچر وی ڈسکسڈ اباؤٹ دا سنگل فیس انڈکشن موٹر اینڈ ناؤ ٹوڈے اس اوور لیکچر از تھری فیس انڈکشن موٹر سو فرینڈس وی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ اٹ سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ ان دس ویڈیو لیٹ اس انڈرسٹینڈ دا ورکنگ پرنسپل آف تھری فیس انڈکشن موٹر so any electrical motor is defined as an electromechanical device which converts the energy in electrical domain to the mechanical domain so among the three phase ac operations or three phase induction motors are widely using in industries because almost 80% uh, almost 80% of the mechanical power used by the industries are being separated by your three phase induction motor so the various reasons and uh, there are some reasons for being using this uh, three phase induction motor in our industries are because of the uh, simple and drug type of construction and uh, number one is simple and rugged type of construction and the other reason is here you don't need any external prime mover to start your induction motor other needs their self starting motor and number second is self starting motor so friends they have good operating characteristics and third one is good operating characteristics and they are also low cost the uh, fourth one is low cost so friends uh, and we are not using type of commutators in our induction motor so and uh, the radius is the sparking in the brushes so absence of commutate uh, commutators fifth one is absence of commutators and we can also say for the slip ring induction motor we can vary the speed of induction motor uh, by applying external resistance through the brushes and slip rings so you can see a uh, good speed regulation sixth one is good speed regulation so there are various reasons we are widely using this three phase induction motor in our industries and now uh, let us go into the working principle uh, of this three phase induction motor so mainly we are deploying two laws first law is faraday electromagnetic induction law and the second law is lenz law and we can also if you want to determine the direction of current that is flowing uh, the route or conductors you can also use uh, the third one is fleming red fleming left hand rule so before going into the related details of the working principle of three phase induction motor let us understand the very basic construction details of three phase induction motor so we know that any rating electrical machine has mainly two parts uh, if i say the first part is number one is a uh, stator and the second one is router so the stator is the stationary part of your router of your motor so here is the stator has three parts uh, stators has also three parts and uh, there is and uh, number one is a stator frame number 2 is stator core number 3 is stator windings so the stator frame is almost cover of your motor and uh, this is the uh, this is your stator frame and uh, it provides support to the stator core and uh, this is your stator core 
and winding in the stator parts and it also put provide protection and mechanical strength to all the inner parts of your three phase induction motor so friends now coming to the stator core uh, your stator core carrying alternating flux and inside of stator frame having same slots and uh, these are slots one slot second slot other slot other slot in between slots winding are uh, wound here winding uh, e these bo uh, both slots in between slots winding are wound here uh, this is the winding in between uh, two slots so the slots are inside stator frame and the stator core carries uh, your alternating flux so how uh, how so now coming to the stator winding employs the three phase winding uh, one uh, three phase winding uh, let uh, r y and b these are three phase the three phase winding are r y b so your stator winding carries this uh, phase winding this three phase winding and three phase winding can be either delta or y connection so generally for your squirrel case type of conduction motor we are going to start delta type of a starter so depending on the type of starter we are using in that mode we uh, mode we can over stator winding so far squirrel case type of induction motor as we are going for delta y starter hence the three phase winding should be in delta connected in a squirrel case type of induction motor and for slip ring, a slip ring type of induction motor the starting can be done by uh, inserting the resistances so uh, this is your stator part and here the stator core is laminated type so i want the i, I want to discuss the stator core is of laminated type the laminations are done to reduce eddy current losses laminated reduce eddy current losses So eddy current are the circulating current to a uh, leakage flux flowing in the stator core and the laminations are made by structures which is known as uh, stampings. These thickness of stampings uh, I think uh, the thickness of stamping may be 0 0.4 to 0 0.5 mm and stampings are stamped to other to form uh, your stator core and the stamping material here we are uh, here we are using a uh, core road green oriented silicon steel so which is it is represented by c r g o silicon steel so we are using this to reduce our hysteresis losses and uh, this CRGO silicon steel, uh, steel uh, is used to reduce over hysteresis losses so we are eliminated to reduce this uh, eddy current losses and we are using the material CRGO silicon steel to reduce the hysteresis losses and we have discussed the winding the three phase winding being carry uh, inner stator winding part now coming to the router your router can be divided into two types and um, so if I say number one is squirrel cage type of router and the second one is wound router or slip ring router so again based of these type of router we are having that uh, we are having two types of induction motor number one is curl cage and number two is wound router and this and and uh, so the stator for both these type of router remain same the stator but is uh, same but the router part depending on the router part the name of the motor is going to change a squirrel case or wound router and a squirrel case router conductors can be aluminium brass or copper and they are permanently short circuit through uh, end rings uh, short circuit permanently through end rings And here, uh, and here the wound router, the stator windings are closed by external resistances. It is, 
uh, it is used for closing your wound router winding so here this is your stator frame and this is part is the stator core and here you see the projecting poles and uh, these are poles one pole second pole other pole and uh, this pole uh, and similarly we are having again and uh, let's see uh, like r y and b these are three phase uh, these phases and three phase winding uh, can be either y or delta connected y or delta connected and similarly your stator also can be in star connected type because the y connected y were is using for this we shall discuss the detail of this and the other part can be in shaft this is called shaft uh, in the router shaft is used for transmitting the torque to the load into the uh, star can be made up of steel uh, here you having the other part is shaft and the supporting the rotational of your three phase induction motor so friends uh, we are also employing bearings and that part of it we can use cooling fans so because our motor getting uh, overheated here and we can also use ex uh, external terminal box to get connection to this motor so we have discussed the construction details now coming to the working principle of three phase induction motor where balanced three phase supply is provided to the uh, balanced three phase supply is providing to the uh, three phase running to the stator uh, in your three phase induction motor then it rmf rmf rotating magnetic field is produced so the uh, concept behind the rmf is unique the and uh, number one is balanced phase supply phase supply and the other for rmf is and uh, the second one is patient distribution winding distribution winding so if the supply being provided to the three uh, three phase uh, windings are displaced equally in uh, time domain of same magnitude any zero windings are also displaced equally in same domain then a rotating magnetic field is produced so here generally the windings are 120 degree and uh, 120 degree apart apart in space from each other and r <coughs> r is a, a, if you having winding like this um, like this winding uh, uh, you can see here and uh, this winding uh, r 120 degrees same equally uh, phase and the balance phase supply means the current are displaced equally in the time domain of same magnitude uh, so when the balance supply is provided to the balance winding then it rmf appear in your stator core so according to the fraudella what we know is an uh, EMF is induced whenever there is a rate, uh, rate of change of flux linkage in the circuit so we know that uh, so we know that E is equal to minus D phi by DT so either router conductor or short circuit is and there is revolving flux and the flux lay uh, and the flux is revolving the speed known as synchronous speed which is uh, represented by and s like this and uh, this is synchronous speed like this when this rotating magnetic field uh, on your router conductor uh, this is uh, like a uh, router conductor and emf induced and uh, this is emf induced in your router conductor <coughs> there is a rate of change of flux and uh, rate of change of flux across your router conductor and as we know the router conductor are in position they are stationary so when the rotating magnetic field swipes or stationary router conductor and emf is induced in your router conductor and as we know in a scurril case type of motor the router winding are short circuit 
with the help of end rings and for one router of uh, one type of router they are all uh, they are closed through uh, external resistance so now um, when the router winding are short circuit in the uh, is the circuit flowing in your router winding and this current introduce this on flux and uh, known as router flux now this router flux tries uh, to catch your rotating magnetic field and rotates in the same direction of your RMF direction so because from lens law we know that the effect always opposes the cause so the cause is the rate of change uh, is the rate use p in the rotate uh, rotor flux and the state of flux so the rotor rotate in the same direction of state of flux to catch this synchronous speed so once if catch the synchronous speed the so okay so once motor if catch the synchronous speed then what happened there is no emf induced in your motor winding that means no current no torque generated in your three phase induction motor so when this rotor flux extract in your stator flux then mechanical force being exerted in uh, on your rotor and rotor start rotating but when the router reaches the uh, synchronous speed there is no emf no torque nothing but what happened is the router de uh, declined when it reaches the synchronous speed so speed is being developed between your router flux and stator flux and if you want to experience the directional of force being held of your router conductor it is given by a uh, flaming le left hand rule so let's see what is flaming le left hand rule now if i say uh, i have a magnet magnet here uh, like this this is north pole and this is south pole these are two magnets and and placing a carrying conductor uh, carrying current carrying conductor like this the direction of current is downward and we say this is the magnetic field which is from north to south pole and uh, like this this is a magnetic field from north to south pole then according to framing left hand rule if i stretch my index finger thumb and middle finger like this where my thumb finger represent the direction of force and uh, this is the direction of force so friends and uh, my where my thumb finger represent the direction of force being uh, experienced with the conductor and the index finger represent the direction of magnetic field like this and uh, my thumb represent the direction of force and uh, which is going to upward and the current direct uh, and the direction of current is downward which is uh, my index finger representing the direction of magnetic field like this this is magnetic field from north to south and the my middle finger represent the uh, direction of current so if i stress my uh, hand and say represent like this this is my magnetic field showing in the direction and uh, this is my current which is coming this in this direction then the force being experienced with the direction but the conductor is given uh, given by your thumb finger and it is the upward direction force is upward direction current is downward direction and the magnetic field uh, from north to soul is uh, right side right direction so here is your current here is magnetic field is your magnetic field and the force being experienced with the perpendicular both of your magnetic field and current so friend this is the end of our topic three phase induction motor so hopefully uh, you like this uh, you like this lecture um, so friends uh, if you have any questions any uh, confusion confusions any problem or, uh, about this lecture so you can ask me uh, or discuss me on the comment box and friends you can suggest me a new topic uh, so i will uh, come in the next lecture uh, with a new topic inshallah so uh, allah hafiz and thank you